Hello everyone, and welcome to CleanerWatt. Idra, who is the company who manufactures gigapresses for Tesla, um, for instance, the 6,000 ton gigapress that's used for the Model Y front and rear underbody sections, and also the 9,000 ton gigapress that's going to be used for the Cybertruck. This company, Idra, recently announced on LinkedIn that they have a 9,000 ton gigapress that's ready to ship to Asia. Now, while this announcement did not specifically mention Tesla by name, since as far as we know, Tesla is the only company that is actually using this large of a gigapress, it seems very unlikely that it's for another company. So I believe very strongly that this is going to Gigafactory Shanghai and that this particular unit will be used to make the compact Tesla coming up in the near future. Now, before we move on, I wanna briefly talk about what is this Gigapress? So Tesla used to make their underbodies, for instance, for the Model 3 with a number of different uh, parts that are welded together. But Elon Musk, uh, much in part due to the fact of him looking at an actual Hot Wheel diecast car, um, looking at that car, he thought, maybe you could actually diecast large portions of a vehicle and maybe even potentially a full vehicle. That inspiration, of course, led to Tesla engineering uh, the front and rear underbody castings for the Model Y, this new generation Model Y. And that saved them a lot of time and body shop space. And they were able to condense around 70 parts into a single uh, piece casting, a front and rear casting now. And uh, that saves a lot of time and manufacturing uh, cost. Now, that I believe is the first step towards potentially having an entire cast vehicle, which we'll talk about in a minute. But the Gigapress made by a company, an Italian company named Idra, that company manufactures these huge presses, these huge die cast presses that Tesla uses. And it of course is a huge innovation in automobile manufacturing. Now these Gigapresses are huge. And so I think it's a very appropriate name, Gigapress. For instance, according to this Hot Cars article that came out in December of 2022, the um, Gigapress that Tesla uses for the uh, Model Y underbody castings, that particular press weighs 950,000 pounds and it has a clamping force of 6,000 metric tons. When you manufacture a bigger vehicle like the Cybertruck, that requires an even bigger press. And I don't know how much that press weighs, but we do know that that particular uh, Gigapress that's going to be used to manufacture the Cybertruck is rated as a 9,000 ton press. In the past, Idra had talked about a 9,000 ton gigapress that they were assembling. And um, it was of course rumored that this was for the Cybertruck. And Elon Musk did confirm on Twitter that that was indeed the case, that this 9,000 ton gigapress was for the Cybertruck body. Now, of course, the question is, is this 9,000 ton gigapress that Idra is shipping to Asia, is it for Tesla? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the only company that we know that uses these large gigapresses like this currently is Tesla. So very likely it is. But I don't believe Tesla is going to manufacture Cybertrucks in China. So what's this 9,000 ton gigapress for if it is for Tesla? Well, I believe it potentially could be for casting the entire, uh, not only underbody, but upper uh, frame part as well of the new compact Tesla because Tesla is working to get those costs down very low. And if they can eliminate a lot more of the body shop with an entire cast vehicle, that could actually make a huge difference and allow a very full featured compact Tesla to be very affordable. Now, Tesla talked about this so-called $25,000 compact Tesla at Battery Day when they put up this slide and talked about a $25,000 passenger car that they were working to develop. And when they talked about their battery cathodes, they put up this slide which makes it look like this compact Tesla will have lithium iron phosphate batteries. So when it comes to battery technology, that makes a lot of sense to use a more affordable lithium iron phosphate uh, based battery chemistry instead of a nickel based chemistry. But that's really only part of the story because manufacturing the vehicle itself can also be expensive. So going to uh, a complete body casting would make a lot of sense. It would save Tesla a lot of money. Now we should learn more about this new generation three platform in March of this year at Tesla's investors day, as they mentioned in this press release that was recently put out on their website. But in order for Tesla to be able to actually sell a more affordable electric vehicle um, at a profit, they're going to have to do some extreme things when it comes to the manufacturing side. 
Now, when it comes to just how low they want the cost to be for this vehicle, in Tesla's Q3 2022 investors conference call, during that call, one of the investors' questions had to do with the fact that when Tesla moved from the Model S and X platform to the Model 3 and Y platform, um, that led to somewhere around a 50% reduction in the cost of goods sold. The question asked to Elon Musk and the team was, uh, when do you see Tesla's third platform being released and at what level of cost of goods sold reduction could you achieve? In response to that, Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla was targeting somewhere around a 50% uh, cost as compared to the Model 3 and Y platform uh, for this new platform. So this is going to be a pretty extreme cut in cost and it's going to require something pretty dramatic to be able to achieve something like this. And I believe this could be the full body casting that we saw in a patent some years ago. Back in January of 2018, Tesla filed an application for something that they called a multi-directional unibody casting machine for a vehicle frame and associated methods. In the images of this, you can see that the entire uh, vehicle frame, not only the underbody, but the entire vehicle frame is being shown here being cast by a huge machine. I can imagine doing something like this where you cast the top and bottom portions of a vehicle. That could be what's needed to reduce the cost of this platform by 50%. Now there is one indicator that could point to the fact that this is not the case. And it comes down to the fact that if you pull this patent up on Google Patents, you can see here in the status that Tesla abandoned this particular patent application. So from what I understand, this patent application will not turn into an actual patent. However, I don't believe that means that Tesla decided not to go forward with a whole body casting. It just may mean that this particular uh, patent application, the, the processes that Tesla is using to manufacture this full body casting, maybe it changed quite a bit and they're going to have to uh, file a new patent. Maybe the design changed enough or maybe they learned enough through their processing of the uh, the Giga Presses they're using for the Model Y and the Cybertruck, and maybe they learned some new things that will require a new patent application. I believe that's very possible, and I believe that might be the case. Now, of course, this is mainly speculation right now. We don't know all the details, but if you take all these separate pieces that we have and piece it together, it sure looks like this is a strong possibility that this Giga Press is indeed going to Gigafactory Shanghai and that it is going to Tesla. And it's also very possible that this Gigapress is for the compact Tesla since we have an announcement coming up as soon as March of this year at Tesla's Investors Day about this. So the timing lines up well for this being for their compact Tesla. Um, I believe that compact Tesla will be manufactured in China. So that also lines up very well. And so when you put this all together and the fact that Tesla did a patent in the past about this, I believe this is a good confirmation that this is definitely a strong possibility. Now, nonetheless, no matter how Tesla achieves that 50% uh, cost of goods sold target, uh, when it really comes down to it, this vehicle, I believe, is very important as Tesla works to uh, transition the world to sustainable transportation. The truth is, in general, electric vehicles are quite expensive. Now, companies in China like BYD have shown that they can manufacture great, fully featured EVs for a low price. For instance, the BYD Dolphin that recently launched in China that has a starting price under 17,000 US dollars. Then of course, BYD has the Addo 3 or the Yuan Plus that I talked about in a past video and several other vehicles that are very compelling at very low prices. And while Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y do sell well in China, I believe for Tesla to really hit full stride in China and really hit the mass market numbers that they want to in China, I believe they need this more affordable vehicle. So I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to Tesla's Investors Day in March of this year. And, and I hope that we learn a lot about this new platform. And I hope it is a full body casting because Tesla has already done amazing things with their underbody castings. And I would love to see a full cast car, very similar to how a, um, a die cast Hot Wheels car or a Matchbox car is manufactured. That would be very exciting and very amazing. And once again, would push the automobile uh, industry forward when it comes to manufacturing. Do you let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Do you think that this press from Idra is indeed for the new uh, compact Tesla coming up or do you think it's for something else? I'd love to hear from you. I also want to say uh, thank you to the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.